Hello, my name is Lorraine and I am an instructional technologist and also doctoral student at UNC Charlotte and I will be producing a series of videos on enhancing your second life experience for those with already a little bit of experience with the very, very basics. So today we're going to be talking about how to enable shadows from the sun and the moon uh, into your second life environment and it makes a huge huge difference Just sort of look around right now this is a real pretty sim if I say so myself because I designed it uh, it's the UNC Charlotte nursing sim and it's a low lag and that's why I'm on here because you need somewhere fairly low lag with not a lot of people or scripts running for this to really work the best and not lag your machine completely so kinda look around at how things look right now and we're going to enable the shadows and things will look so different in just a bit. So the first thing that you need to do is go up under me and preferences and you probably uh, have your graphics on I don't know low or mid most people high the most uh, very few people already have it on ultra um, but you need a fairly good graphics card to make this work by the way so click it on ultra I hope you can um, and then just go OK. So it has to be ultra graphics for this to work. Um, next thing we need to do is bring up a couple of different menus here. Uh, and so you may not even know those exist, but one is the advanced menu. And to enable that, I click the control key, the alt key, and the letter D key on my keyboard all at once. Click them all at once. Control, alt, D, and that brings up advanced and now yet another and even more advanced menu under advanced you're going to want to go show develop menu so under advanced the very bottom one show develop and there it is develop now we're going to need to go into the develop menu three different times for this to work the first time we go develop rendering and frame buffer objects check that and it makes everything <laughs> disappear you got to go back into develop rendering and this time check lighting and shadows and again the menu goes away third time and this is the magical one are you ready drum roll please develop rendering shadows from sun moon projectors it takes just a little bit of time and look at that isn't that beautiful? I love this. This just adds, I mean, it was 3D before, but it just adds such a deeper level of depth and uh, reality. Just the realism and, and the three-dimensionality with the shadows enabled makes all of the difference. Look at my back. Uh, look at the shadows on my back from my head. Um, obviously, if I turn, things move even the horse moving its feet. Uh, obviously this has to keep on rendering wherever you move and so it's very very hard on the system so you most likely will not be able to do this in some you know crowded shopping mall or something like that you'll probably have to turn it back down to like a, a mid-range I love what it does to the water when I go over here to the water I'll cam down and look, look at the, the the sun shining through the slats on the bridge, and the um, the tree shadow onto the water, and even the railing of the bridge is making a shadow, as I do everywhere I go. So this adds such beauty. I'll tell you, I don't want to be <laughs> in Second Life. It kind of spoils me for the regular old looking um, ground after knowing about this I just love you know riding my horse under the, the the shady trees if you have a skybox on your land I don't hear I have I don't have anything up till about a thousand meters up but if you have a skybox it will make a big old shadow if it's too low near the ground uh, you'll literally have a big square shadow on your ground so you probably don't want anything too low in your sky floating or it'll affect you um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can try it. You will need pretty decent, you know, graphics power to do this, but just with what it does, 
uh, to your experience. I just think you'll really, really enjoy it, especially if you're in Second Life quite a lot. It really enhances uh, the experience. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.